I will say that I've been pretty critical of Ahsoka so far and, and, and not, you know, overly critical, not saying, you know, it's, it sucks or anything like that. Just, you know, I've just been very like, I wish this was better. I wish this was better. Blah, 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 blah. Did that change for episode five of Ahsoka entitled Shadow Warrior? Let's talk about it. Now, as always, I will say that I, I, I'm not going to do a play by play of the episode, but I am going to be talking about the, the major things that happened. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, and trust me, you probably should, then yeah, you might want to come back to this. But otherwise, let's just get on with it. There was a lot that went down in this episode. This was directed by Dave Filoni. The episode basically starts off with, uh, you know, Hera trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Finds Hu Yang. Hu Yang's like, oh, they should have stuck together. You know, they never listened. Blah, 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 blah. Right? I mean, we, we kind of knew that stuff. But I'm, I'm telling you, so far, this is the most impressive visually so far uh, in, in the series. I, I, I think this one will go down as visually one of the best. Um, if not the best, there was just, there was just a lot to like here. I almost said something really hyperbolic about this whole sequence, the world between worlds, um, that maybe it's the best star Wars sequence in however many years it's, it's hard to, to know that. I mean, it's literally, I, I just, I came in here to do this review, so I can't really say that yet, but it is really well done. I know Clone Wars fans out there, they're losing their minds right now, and that's a good thing. The fight between Ahsoka and Anakin at the beginning here to, to sort of start things off was some of the best lightsaber action so far. Anakin, or I should say Hayden Christensen, you can tell that that dude knows what he's doing, and he's really, really well done. I mean, it was just, it was well done, very well done. Rosario looked great too. Um, there was a little bit of jank to me personally in, in the previous episode. Um, and that's, I'm not saying that Ray Stevenson is bad or Ahsoka's, you know, Rosario Dawson's bad, anything like that. I'm not saying that it just, it wasn't, it wasn't refined. Like this one was refined and it looked really, really good, like really good. And then, you know, he, he breaks the bridge. Anakin breaks the bridge that they're standing on and Ahsoka falls and I was completely fooled. I didn't realize that this was going to be a young Ahsoka back in the Clone Wars with Anakin in his, you know, midway point. You know, he's got a little bit of long hair, but not the long hair in episode three. And I got to say, the, the, the work on his face, he looked amazing in this episode. I'm, I'm completely shocked and a little bit like, man, if they could keep that up, they could do a whole another Clone Wars like series with 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 the Aiden because he looks great. I, I don't know. I, I don't think that's I don't know if that's what they're going to do. But when I see that, I go, yeah, that that could that could be a thing that that could definitely be a thing. There are a couple of sequences where Anakin is silhouetted and and then, it, you know, there's an explosion or whatever and the flash and it turns to, to Vader, the silhouette of Vader. And it's it's awesome. It's like, I really like that. I don't know whose idea that was, but that was a good idea. It was just it's one of those things that it just it scratches all those Clone Wars itches that it was just it was beautiful. It was beautifully done. And I don't know who's playing. I, I, I mean, I don't think it's going to be out there yet on like IMDb, but whoever's playing young Ahsoka is she's badass. Yeah, she's awesome. Like she fights really, really well. And in Ahsoka style, which is just, it was really, really, ah, dude, well done. So there's a lot of questions here. Is this, is the world between worlds like a purgatory sort of thing? Is it, is it, is this what happens when a Jedi dies? I don't know. I don't have questions or answers. I, I mean, I have questions. I don't have the answers is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Is this Anakin a force ghost? Is this all in her mind? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But there's a... I was really kind of stuck on that on the last episode. And now I I, I kind of don't care. Is that is that weird? Is that the Is that what you're supposed to feel? Because that's how I feel right now. 
So meanwhile, you know, Jason has heard the lightsabers or whatever. Hera and Teva and the, the other crew are, you know, combing the, the water to try to, to try to find her and uh, to tr try to find Ahsoka and Sabine because they don't realize what's happened. And yeah, um, they find Ahsoka. She says that she wants to live. Uh, I mean, really, really good stuff. And the way that Anakin turns back to like good Anakin was really, really well done. They find her, they get her out, and suddenly she's Ahsoka the White. Is is that is that's what we're doing here? That we're she's she's different now. She's literally like Gandalf. Um, there's even a very famous picture that Dave Filoni drew of Gandalf and Ahsoka. So I'm assuming that's kind of what we're doing here. And of course, now Ahsoka's whole persona seems to have sort of changed and reverted back to a more joyful, a more aloof, I would say, kind of character. I, I like it. I like it, though. And I think I, I think we're, we're in for some good stuff coming up. And of course, the Pergil, you know, she finds out oh, that's what's happened. Of course, we know this already. And, you know, the, it's kind of her figuring it out. And of course, the Pergil, I mean, who didn't know that the Pergil were going to come into play here? I mean, I think everybody knew what was going to happen uh, as far as how the other people were going to get to where wherever Thrawn and Ezra are. That's how they're going to do it is with the Pergil, right? So it's, it, it, it was kind of a, a little bit of a, okay, we, yeah, we get it. We get it, you know, but I got to say the whole scene between Ahsoka and the Pergil and the Pergil opening up and they go inside a very, you know, was it Jonah and the whale, all that kind of thing. Um, very, very good, good stuff. And it, there was a part of me that was like, this is kind of goofy in my head. I'm thinking this as, as this whole scene's playing out, the music swelling, all that kind of thing as they're going in the mouth. And I'm sitting there going, this is kind of goofy. You know, it really is kind of goofy. And then I remember, oh yeah, there, there is the weird asteroid worm that the Millennium Falcon goes into in Empire Strikes Back. So maybe this isn't so goofy and maybe I should just roll with it. So I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with it. This whole side plot with Hera being sort of suspended, maybe permanently, it, it was kind of like, it's interesting, but let's get on with the story. You know what I mean? It's 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 a side plot that doesn't really have that much of a of an urgency to it, I think. And, you know, there's I can see that there's probably gonna be some people that are kind of upset about Teva playing around with the with the fleet, you know, telling stories and kind of being goofy trying to stall. I don't mind it. I, I I actually enjoyed this whole episode. I think this is probably the best episode we've seen so far. And I think the best acted. Um, the visuals were outstanding. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. There's still a lot of questions, right? Uh, like, what was that? What was the world between worlds? Of course, now I, I think we can pretty much have it in our head that this is that that's all we're going to see of Hayden Christensen. Um, unless, unless I'm mistaken, which is, could be great. Um, but look that I think that's, I think we're done with that. Um, so I guess the question is where are we headed as far as like, what are we going to get in these last three episodes? We can't get a resolution, right? Uh, that's not going to happen. I don't think because there's going to be future episodes of whatever, there's going to be future stuff coming that is all going to culminate in a, a movie directed by Dave Filoni. So I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of resolution here. So I think people, we should, we should all, me included, we should all just settle down and, and just enjoy the ride. Hopefully this is a worthwhile chapter in this story that Filoni is telling. I, I got to say, I'm on board with it. So Ahsoka, episode five, Shadow Warrior. What did you guys think of it? I mean, like I said, I've got questions still, but I'm I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So let's talk about it down in the comment section below. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.